you know, this is this is I, I spent for for a few hours. I was like, all right, what am I gonna say on this? You know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be reacting. I, I know of these glitches, and uh, I am just I am just left without words. I love this. I, lo <laughs> I love this uh, this uh, this abuse that's going on. Hey, I'm uh, I'm James Silva. Uh, I am. Uh, the dev reacting to Salt and Sanctuary, and uh, we're watching we're watching D Planet 36. This is gonna happen in 21 minutes. Uh, this is this is weird to me. I I knew of an all bosses run that was like a 50 minute kind of thing, um, and this one is a is a 21 minute thing. So I I uh, we'll see what happens. My my impression until now was all bosses in 50 minutes or um, uh, any percent in like nine minutes, but we're on. Uh, we're doing it. <laughs> so, so to start off, I know the this this jump they're using um, is uh, if you okay, that's a new one. This is gonna blow my mind. Uh, so the jump, I knew about that one for a while. That is, if you if you dodge and jump in exactly the same frame, uh, you get this this. Um, I, I don't know if people call it bunny hopping or, uh, uh, but you get this this sort of dart jump. Um, and okay, I, the latter one, <laughs> I think I, I think I knew about that one. Um, oh boy, this is <laughs> a lot of stuff is happening in uh, in the space of like a minute, and uh, I I was like, okay, I know about one, but more of this is really blowing my mind. I don't know how they did that. And do, are they gonna knock him off the ledge? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, I know there's there's um, something with like if. Okay. Yeah. So that that should be a falling death, but if you grab on the ledge, that that breaks that. Um, boy, there there is so much happening, and and I'm like I'm I'm still kind of stuck on a bug I saw earlier where I was I was like okay I want to explain how that bug happened, um, but <laughs> but we are we are just so far beyond. So the, this um. It's kind of like infinite, uh, infinite air jump. That's one I actually I, I have no idea how that works. All I knew about was the dart, and then I think the the ladder glitch. Um, something about um, actually I don't think I know how that one works. Um, I just I, I remember being at a state where uh, uh, some uh, some speedrunners were asking about these glitches, and I was I was like I was like well you know as long as they don't they don't affect the game for like a, a normal experience. And the speedrunners like them. I mean, what's the what's the harm, right? Um, but uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is this is blowing my mind. Um, wow, yeah. So uh, so yeah, I guess we got we got one boss down. Um, headed toward the Mad Alchemist. And what's the strategy? Just oh, just tear him up. I think that was a glitch where they were yeah. I think they were able to to do a bunch of incantations and and uh, and cancel out of. Uh, so it's it's basically like casting like one spell per frame and then and then canceling out and then recasting cancel. Re so that's interesting. So that, I bet that's going to be how they how they just you know eat up a bunch of these bosses. <laughs> so the false jester are getting there. Uh, he's probably almost dead already. Oh my god, this is amazing. I love it. Okay. Oh, so much work. <laughs> so much work destroyed. Okay. I like how the uh, the, the vanquished uh, card appears over the uh, you know the just like the the, the new area notification. Okay. Same strategy. Okay. All right. So this is, you know, and it's like the kind of thing where I, I could have, uh, I could have, I could have looked at this and said like, all right, let's gotta, we've gotta fix this, and maybe, maybe a goal of like more interesting speed run. Not, not saying this, this is like a, a hugely boring speed run, but it's, you know, you, you figure out what the, what the way to just, you know, dissolve a boss is, and then, and then you, uh, and then you apply. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is interesting. This ladder glitch. Oh. It is, uh, it is incredible to look at. And so now I, I, you know, I mean, the way, the way, <laughs> the way this was really designed was, uh, um, you know, you set up sanctuaries, you're able to, uh, to teleport from, uh, 
from one sanctuary to the next by using a, a guide NPC. Uh, so using a ladder to just teleport yourself around, that's a... Are they going to the... I think they're going to the unspeakable deep. So the... <laughs> so, so in the intro of this game, there's a boss that's just supposed to kill you. And you can kill it back. Um, and um, this is... Uh... <laughs> so they so they skip the boss, but because it's... And it's, it's right there in the, in the list of bosses. I didn't even notice that starting off. But so because it's, because it's uh, all bosses, and they didn't want to fight the boss first off because that would take a lot of time, so they 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 get you know, the uh, the wildfire incantation, and then they're able to just you know zip right back to the uh, to the starting boss. Okay, I don't know why they um, why they, they did the stained page there. Though. So they did a, a thing that you can use to um, um, to to desecrate a sanctuary. Uh, basically, like if you're from another creed and you. Get to a sanctuary. Uh, you can you can desecrate it of uh, of the other creeds gods and then uh, expunge them. And, and so they started that and then left. And I don't know why they did that. Okay, and this is a this is a skip I knew about. Um, if you yeah, <clears throat> you're basically able to do like a like a crazy jump that should should kill you from falling damage. Um, but you ring the, the bell that returns you to the last sanctuary right as you hit the ground, and it teleports you to uh, um, to where you uh, to where you landed, uh, basically afresh there. So that's a glitch I knew about. And then I th I'm I'm guessing one of the glitches they'll use that I knew about is a uh, is if you get grabbed by an enemy and you get stuck in, in a collision with that block, that can, uh, that'll that'll ground you uh, basically at the at the highest collidable tile below where you got grabbed. So I know that's like a skip that'll get you to the uh, to the nameless god. Uh, wow, six minutes in, and uh, I already <laughs> I'm I'm in a state right now where I'm I'm watching this and I'm I'm still trying to process stuff I saw and I'm I'm not doing a good job at it um, because uh, because too much has happened. I don't know if that makes for a good React video or a bad React video, but. Um, Jeez, well done, D Planet 36. This is uh, this is incredible. Uh, okay, so taking the uh, taking the ferryman's boat around. This is the most excruciating pause right now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, this is this is I, I spent for for a few hours. I was like, all right, what am I gonna say on this? You know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be reacting. I, I know of these glitches. And uh, I am just I am just left without words um, in so many of these spots. Although I can talk about this, uh, this this dart jump and the grab glitch, and here is the bloodless print. Wait, no, there's the bloodless print. Okay, I was I was like, let's see. Okay. Uh, and then the, the dried king is above in this uh, ziggurat. Oh jeez, and it it it's done a lot. It, wow, he's a. Uh, Okay, maybe it's just a flickering thing, but yeah, the flickering. Is I, I was like, why is the flickering not happening anymore? Okay, wow, I just take him down. And then, uh, yeah, there. One one thing I knew I would I would probably have to talk about is um, there because of a, a personal failure of, of implementation. Uh, uh, if you uh, if if you quit and, and and respawn, you just go back to the to the last place you were at, so you you don't have to use uh, bells of return. Um, so that's what they're doing here. And then I'm guessing they're going to go up to the, uh, okay. It didn't even need the, uh, the brand. Ah, oh, man, that's so funny. This, so yeah, so the ladder is just, I, I mean, I, I guess to a speed runner, it's like, all right, how do I get to here? Okay. Where is the nearest ladder that will allow me to do that? So, are they stuck in the floor? Oh, no, okay. And I, I, uh, this guy's actually. Oh, I just noticed they are they are rapidly switching weapons. Okay, maybe I bet that's the cancel. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, you know, there's a <laughs> there's a there's a thing that I did from um, like like way back to I, I made this game for Xbox Live Arcade, the Dishwasher Dead Samurai, and I, and I kind of established this this precedent back then, and I think I I carried it through to Salt and Sanctuary, but. Um, Basically, I, I wanted it so that if you switch weapons, you can cancel out of pretty much anything. Um, 
and it wasn't a it wasn't a good design idea. But uh, you know, the, the idea is like is uh, you know if you're if you're doing a, a good combo and then you want to you switch weapons, we're gonna we're gonna really you know really help you out as a way of promoting uh, uh, the, the very uh, you know having having a lot of variety to how, how you play. Um, but uh, yeah, that is totally abusable as a glitch. That's uh, a <laughs> that is something. I, oh, and you know what? Because I think so. So what it must do? It must spawn the particle that creates the wildfire effect, and then you switch weapons, which cancels out of the animation. So it never hits the part of the animation where it, it, it charges you for how much uh, focus you use. So you can so you can do it for free. That is great. It's, uh, Oh man. Okay, that makes sense. See, I'm, <laughs> I'm gradually understanding these glitches. Um, the latter one, I bet, I bet I could figure out the latter one. And then we're gonna go back to, um, you know, I still, I still don't want to, um, I still don't want to fix them because, uh, you know, I, I just, I love this. I, lo <laughs> I love this, uh, this, uh, this abuse that's going on. It's great. Um, this uh, this this infinite um, double jump though. Um, is that just no? That's not switching weapons. I wonder how that is done. Uh, it looks like remapping keys is more because they're using right trigger to pick things up. I think I think a lot of it they they'll remap um, different uh, like basically like like one button will do multiple things and that and that enables a. Uh, Certain, uh, certain strats. Like it, it's it's going into the crouch animation uh, before the double jump happens. Okay, and then up to the explore. Wow, yeah, this is a. Uh... <laughs> uh, I uh, I just get such a kick out of out of how that just that just wrecks them. Okay, on to you, Kars Jaw the Cruel. This is a, 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 a sort of a little known optional boss. Um, the uh, when, when I when I started when I plan I planned out this this world. Um, it was uh, okay, and down into <laughs> or no, Kars Jaw. He, he's yeah, he, he is optional, but he's he's uh, I think he's, he's more well known. Um, I was thinking of. Um, of uh, uh, Breath of Cramp, or Ronin yeah. Um, I, I also I also changed some names uh, as, as time went by. Um, but yeah, so so I, I laid out the world on like a single piece of paper, like and it, it, everything was just it, it, it felt aggressively generic. It's like okay, there's a forest here, uh, cave here, castle here, a dungeon here, um, uh, without without a lot of thinking about how any of it would connect. Uh, so there, there are some of these little little connecty spots that, um, like between uh, between the ruins and okay, uh, between the ruins um, and uh, the Red Hall of Cages. Oh yeah, the Ruin Temple and Red Hall of Cages. Um, there is a there's an optional boss there, and this one is uh, so. Oh no, they're, they're doing the coveted next. Okay, and then and then running. Okay. Um, and getting some. And they know exactly what they want. Oh. Look at that. How, 18. I, I actually, I, I didn't see how many, um, how many black pearls. Oh, I guess they're level 47, so they'd have at least 46 black pearls. And there's some you can pick up too, but I don't think I, I saw a deep plant 36 pick up any, any pearls. Um, but yeah, the coveted coming up, um, that one, um, it's it's a it's a cool gimmick that I I, I really like. Um, I kind of I, I wish I I wish I had more to this boss fight. Honest, I mean there's so many. I guess I guess part of game development is figuring out when you're done and try to have as few regrets as possible. Um, but yeah, this is this is the axe that uh, these two spirits will pick up, and you can't harm the spirits, but you can't harm the axe. But I'm guessing they are just going to completely destroy the defense. Destroy this axe before. Okay, well that's interesting. So uh, it looks like they started to pick it up, and then the axe got teleported up a little bit. And I think this axe must be uh, highly resistant to fire. Um, one thing I cannot tell you offhand is what resistances 
uh, certain bosses have. Okay, now they're doing some some ladder uh, ladder stuff. And then Ronin Cran. Okay. Whoop. Stuck in the floor. Yeah, and there's a there's kind of a hidden creed in here that's the uh, the, the creed that loves gold. House of Splendor. Just tear. Look at those damage numbers. I, I saw I saw two thousand something um, before uh, before it vanished. Okay, and then into the Red Hall of Cages. Is that yeah? A tree of Men coming up next. Okay, so then they that's what they did have the uh, um, the, uh, the 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 red green uh, brand. Red shift. That's what's called. Oh my goodness. Of men. Another another boss that uh, gets a lot of hate. And okay, they're using. Uh, this one. I think that is a uh, uh, dark reach, uh, which is which is like a really high. And oh, so this is like, this is kind of the only one they can't just uh, like spam wildfire on. Uh, Okay, and then, then they disemboweled Husk. And I, I, <laughs> I know for a fact that uh, this boss is weak to fire, so let's see how how much of an interest. We Get before it. Oh, look at that! Ah, oh, nice. All right, and then okay. So the Witch of the Lake is next. Yeah, when I when I first saw the list of bosses, um, my my brain didn't say there are far fewer than um, than the, the, I think there's 21 bosses. Uh, but yeah, my, my my brain didn't say there are far fewer than 21. Uh, and uh, I, I didn't realize that the list scrolled so. <laughs> Oh, cool. So it goes high enough that it hits her. I wonder if, if there have been runs that have stopped because she just hovered higher, or if she hovers that high. Um, I know the hover logic is a little bit weird. Okay, and then for the unskinned. Can they... Oh, then they can just... Ooh, no, they just take the... I'm trying to think if there was a... If there was a sequence break there, or if you can always just fall that far. I think he's weak to fire. And... Oh, that dark reach. Wow, that hits hard. <laughs> okay. So that's that, and then the, uh, the Forgotten uh, is next. Which, you know... <laughs> Um, the Forgotten was, that was a thing I wanted to, to do more of, um, it's, it's essentially, there's a, there's a creed called the Three that you, uh, you, you hear about a lot, and there, there are worshippers of the Three. Uh, you basically find the, the, um, you know, the quote-unquote real version of the Three, uh, at the bottom of this, of this crypt, and it's, they're just, they're just, they're just dead gods. Um, I, I really wanted to do that with more creeds, but, again, time. Another time. So okay, so and this is the big upside down part, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, not upside down, just dropping. There's another. There's a, oh oh yeah, the upside down part I'm thinking about is in the in the ziggurat. There they are. So yeah, that's the, the Forgotten King, the Forgotten Knight, the Forgotten Judge. Um, but the game was set up only to just show one, uh, one game. And then Dark Reach to finish it, and then done. Wow. Oh,
so this is a uh, this is the penultimate boss. Um, <laughs> when, he, when he does the when he does the launch, you can actually just sit right where he lands. Um, but uh, it doesn't matter when you can spam wildfire. <laughs> this is great. You know, I was I, going into this thing because I, I I feel like it's going to end very soon. Uh, I was I was more worried that I would just feel so embarrassed at all the glitches, but uh, this has been delightful. <laughs> um, we are making our way. Oh my gosh, through through the still palace to the nameless god, um, and uh, and one drop, and then here he is, and let's spam him with wildfire until he succumbs. Oh my gosh, well done, Deep Planet Thirty Six. Um, I don't think I'll, you know, it's <laughs> five years on, I don't think I'm fixing the glitches. You can, uh, you can bask in, uh, uh, 21 minutes for all time. 215,884 salt. Vanquished and down into the well and we're done. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Well done. Wow, that was that was great. Thank you uh, so much, IGN, for doing this. Um, Deep Planet Thirty Six. Thank you for that <laughs> that that, uh, that speed run. That was amazing to watch. That was awesome. Um, you know, I used to I used to watch Dark Souls speed runs, and like seeing a speed run of, of my game happen like this is uh, is super cool. So thank you. Um, this has been awesome.